Hello, my name is Ryan and I am the developer of Custom Home Mapper. This is a program that allows you to turn a living space into a large VR play space. So you can try different games that encourage you to move freely between different rooms of your house. The first thing we're being asked to do here really is to mark out our walls. So we're going to choose a starting position. For the sake of this demonstration, we're just going to do these two rooms, this entrance to the kitchen, living room, and then this bedroom over here. I'll use a little bit of this hallway, but the first marker, let's create it here. There's my first wall. Now, I'm not worried about stuff inside my space. I'm really just going from corner to corner and trying to get the general outline, the perimeter of the space that I want to play in. Keep going. We'll mark out all these other objects later. Just hitting all the corners right now. When I come to this doorway, like I said, I'm going to give myself an extra inch. Uh, the doorway in the game may seem a bit small, but uh, it just it'll give you a bit more comfort when it comes to moving through areas like this. Keep going through here, through the bedroom, this corner, and the back. This one, and here, and we're almost there, let's keep going, we're back to where we started, giving myself a little bit of breathing room, let's quickly finish it off, right here, that back wall, uh, let's use this hallway a little bit, let's move down to our entrance door add it into our VR play space, and then here we go. We're going to connect our last position to the starting position, and this will signal to move on to the next part of the app. Like it says, we're going to mark out individual objects like beds, desks, or couches, and we're just going to use the trigger. It's a three-click process. Dealing with messy things like this, we're just going to simply lay a very large cube over everything. Three clicks. And that space is now excluded from the area that we can use in our VR gaming. Uh, small sofa, just kind of clear it up. For this whole area, let's just use a single cube. Like I said, we're just doing a very rough outline. Later on, we'll have the option to put in a different surface and create a little fireplace, mark out where this couch actually is in space, but right now this is a rough model that we're using for the different procedural gameplay. Let's keep going. That is the majority of this large room. I need to get this cabinet here and the entrance to the kitchen and this little guy down here. Mark out the stuff in the corner, and let's just one more cube here to mark out the shoes that we would otherwise trip on. Now I have a clock here that juts out a little bit from the wall, so I'm just going to lay a big cube that just tells me to not move into that space at all. Double checking, a bit of mess in the corner. Let's mark it out, and I think... Oh, oh, it's not quite clean yet. We have one last object in this room, and it doesn't matter that it's a circular table, I'm just going to be really general and mark out a large cube over top. And now I feel confident that everything is in the right space. Let's move into the bedroom, finish it up. Large cube to overlay the entire dresser. Ah, I'm going to delete that one. I made a bit of a mistake where I didn't quite line it up to the back, so I'm just going to push A or B to delete the last cube I laid down, and then I can just simply recreate what I was trying to do a bit better. I think we'll do the bed. So let's see if we can get this right, one corner to the other corner, and then drag the cube all the way to the back. That feels good to me. I know the surface is not at the same position as the surface, I'm giving it a couple extra inches, but later on I'll lay down a proper bed over top of that. And there we go. Now, this is what I need to have an enjoyable experience, and I think I'm ready to do the final step. I'm confident that everything is marked out. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set an anchor, which is to say I'm going to define a position in my house where the program will set the origin point of everything that it spawns. Every time I load into the program again, I'm going to place my controller in these anchor positions and it will use that to realign everything properly. I've had great success with this rug, this square rug that has two very clearly defined corners on the front edge. So what I'm going to do, the 
program will explain that you can use a table. I generally recommend something about six to eight feet apart. And then here we go. I'm just gonna set up my anchor, placing one controller down. This, the marker will turn green, which tells me that it's still, and it's gonna check for that stillness for a little bit before it actually goes ahead and places the anchor. Here we go. I'm assigning these positions. And there we go. Our anchor has been set. And this means we're really ready to start to enjoy all of the different parts of this program and take advantage of all this mapped space. So we can pick up our controllers again. And remember those positions that we've just chosen as our anchor. And now we have access to the console. From here, we can load into different games and experiences. We can set up multiplayer matches, turn the AR features on or off. Uh, I'll create some different tutorials later for how all of the different games and the home builder work. But my main concern is helping you get to this point where you have a mapped space where you feel comfortable moving between the different environments. And as we quit the program and reload in the future, we're able to confirm that this alignment is all set up and everything's working properly. If you have any issues, please, please, please send me an email. I'm very interested to hear about the different kind of difficulties that you may have. But anyways, that's all I have to say for right now. Good luck with everything and enjoy Custom Home Mapper.